Physicist Edwin McMillan and his wife Elsie once lived in Master Cottage No. 1. In 1942, McMillan was working at the Radiation Laboratory at Berkeley when J. Robert Oppenheimer invited him along on a trip to select a site for the Manhattan Project's top-secret scientific laboratory. Uh, there were certain requirements for a site. It had to be far from the borders of the United States, and it had to be in an area not close to highly built up areas, mainly for security reasons. Didn't want to have the scientists mingling with a lot of townspeople and gossiping about what they were doing. And so in many places were looked at. Now, uh, Colonel Dudley said that he visited most of the small towns in the Southwest. He said he traveled thousands of miles on two lane roads, one lane for the left wheels and one lane for the right wheels. <laughs> Well, this site search headed up when Colonel Dudley had uh, decided on the basis of the criteria and what he had seen that the death site was Hamas Springs, New Mexico. So uh, it was arranged that Oppenheimer and I were to go to Hamas Springs. Well, as soon as Grove saw it, he didn't like it. There's no argument there. He, uh, Grove said, this will never do. And uh, at that point, Oppenheimer spoke up and said, if you go on up the canyon, it comes out on, on top of the mesa, and there's a boys' school there, uh, which might be a useful site. So we all got in cars and uh, went up to Los Alamos Ranch School. I remember arriving there, and it was uh, late in the afternoon. There was a, a slight snow falling, you know, just a tiny, drizzly type of snow. It was cold, and there were the boys and their masters out on the playing fields in shorts. You know, I thought, this is really a place for hardening up the youth. As soon as Groves saw it, Groves said, this is it. 